All right, folks, this is a very, very quick and dirty video as I start to test our sample uh, power device board. Um, what I have done is instead of installing the relays, uh, I've put jumpers in. This is just tinned wire um, soldered to the pads and then the whole wire is tinned. I've got my power ports on the board and I didn't have any bus wire, so I actually was able to solder in two 30 amp power poles uh, and then fold them over and solder them together. So this should be good enough. Now, down here I have the Mainuo power supply, which I will be manipulating with my left hand. And then for, sorry, I said power supply, I meant uh, DC load. And what I have here is a PowerWorks SPS 30DM. This is not a current limiting um, power supply, um, but it is, exactly what I need to have basically just a voltage source. So we'll start turn this on and I'm going to be conducting these tests just a little bit higher than I'm going to be conducting at about 14.6 and I can see the load is seeing 14.6 but there's no current being drawn so what we'll do is uh, I have this here so I can turn it off quickly in the event this starts to smoke. So I'm gonna start. We've got one amp constant current. One amp. And then I'm gonna test things. I've got this fluke non-contact thermometer, which I'll aim at a part of the board that's not being under test. And I don't know if you can see that, 72 degrees. If I go over to a part of the board that is under test, you'll see 76, and, uh, 74. This isn't perfectly accurate because um, I didn't adjust the emissivity, but so we're at 75. That's perfectly adequate for one amp. I'm going to change this. Now we're up to two amps. Remember we were at, at the warmest part, about 75. Nothing's really heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and make a jump to five amps continuous. See the power supply's outputting five. And we're still getting a very consistent temperature in all the areas where the current would be being carried. So, I'm going to move this up to 10. So remember the small relay that we have is 16 amps. So I'm drawing 10, power supply's outputting 10. Okay, now we see some heating. We've gone from like 74 up to 78. And specifically, the area where I seem to be getting the most temperature change, see the red laser dot is there on the ground plane. Ooh, it's still increasing, 80. Let's let this run for 30 seconds. You see the power supply set to 14.5, but there's quite a bit of voltage drop. I'm only using 12 gauge cabling, which since I'm just trying to pull current, that's perfectly adequate. Okay, it's been 20 seconds. Well, 85, that's heating up. 81, 82. There are some locally warm spots. Okay. So let's see 
What happens if I jump to 12 amps? is doing something they shouldn't be out. No burning yet. Still at 12. Up to 87. So, and I'm really only seeing this heat on the ground plane. Okay. Make another drastic jump. We'll go up to 15, which is just about where The relay we have is 15 amps. Eighty-nine, ninety-two, ninety-three. I should point out that's in Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to let that run for a few minutes, and uh, we'll see where it is. All right, so it is seven minutes later, still drawing 15 amps, and let's see what we're getting. So I'm now getting readings 113, 115, 122, right at the board edge, and that's the ground plane. We go up here. 106, 97. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, one thing to point out, I mean, this is just an open air. Um, if this were in an enclosure, we're not, the heat would accumulate faster. But uh, let's crank it up to 17. 17. This power supply, I think, will give up to 25 continuous. And obviously, I don't want to do this until it gets super dangerous. What, 17 amps, 124. And so the temperature did climb about, it, what, I don't remember how many degrees, but we're still, it's not bad up here. We're at about 100. About 100 over here on the positive side. Still this brown plane, 123. It's nice and toasty. Okay, I'm going to go for the gusto. Um, and now I'm going to crank it up to 20. No magic smoke yet. We're at 20 amps. And 28. have hit the thermal protection of the we must have hit the thermal reset of the power supply because it just stopped mm, yeah, that's not telling me anything I'll let the fan run for a second so maybe this power supply can do 20 amps continuous so I thought it was 25 continuous, 30 peak. I'm going to turn the power supply back on. Or the load. Nothing.
Maybe I killed my power supply. Of course, the other theory that just occurred to me is maybe I killed the board. Um, I said it's not. It's not registering any voltage. So you know, it shows that. There. Let me grab my meter. Let me take some measurements. I'll be right back. What happened? All the continuity, everything is fine on the board. What I did not realize is that my test leads had. 15 amp slow blow fuses in them. Um, I'll have to dig around. I know I've got a box of fuses around here somewhere. Uh, I'll have to replace those with 40 amps. So we definitely made it to 17 amps. Uh, 15 amps safely so far. Right, we're back in business. 14.6, 14.6. I found appropriate size fuses. This is good though because. The uh, boards had ample time to cool off. So, we're going to resume our test at 20 amps. So, we'll see what happens. I expect this to heat up quite quickly. 20, 20. While it's running, I'll just, you know point out that the two uh, fake bus wires I made there in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, I assume those are the plugs for the 30-amp fuse. So that's why I use those to, to, I don't know if you can see, jump those traces. Well, that doesn't make sense. It's actually running cooler. Right, I'll let this run for a few minutes and I'll get come back. All right, so it's been three minutes. Um, the temperature wasn't increasing that much, so I went ahead to turn to 22. This is what we would generally see max transmit at 100 watt radio. Um, I'm gonna point out, it's actually not heating up even as, I don't know why, but it's still well fine. But something I am noticing is that uh, my cabling, which I didn't realize, these had a 15 amp fuse in them because this is probably only 14 gauge cable, whereas the other power cable is 10 gauge. So I have a significant fuse in the line right now. And you, know, you can see that's quite warm compared to the board. Not really getting anything crazy significant. But again, cable's getting is pretty warm. So the board on 22 amps, not bad. I think I would make the recommendation if we go to two or three ounce copper, we'd have nothing to worry about for this particular layout. Granted, it's only been running at 20 amps now for about uh, four and a half minutes. So yeah, point out a few things overall. This was a very quick and dirty test. Um, I've got uh, the wrong size cable for the harness that's going to be load, uh, which, okay, I can accept that. I got 127. But, even still, there's still, regardless of all that, there's still clearly 22 amps going through the board right now at uh, 
14.5. Now, what I should do is increase the voltage to 15.3, sure. Well, that's interesting. At the power. Overpower, okay. My load complained, so I'm turning this guy down, and we're actually going to stop the test. I think everything will be happier if they do this. We're all right now, but I should have tested down here. I didn't think to. Um, my hottest spot seems to be down here. Let me turn the power back on. I'm going to set the voltage back to 14.6 uh, if I can. And then we'll turn that back on. Got my 20 some amps. So I should have been looking down here. Because here a second ago, this was up to 130. Okay, let's go on. So, 121, yeah, I still say the finding is reasonable, that if we uh, use two or three ounce copper, this should not be a problem at all. Thanks for watching.